Wow, there you are. My first beetle. You are so beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm here with an announcement because I am back to show you something that I have not shown you in over, well, I think it's over five or six years on this channel. It is a species of beetle, the uh, Eudicella horny money, an African beetle. But what's interesting is this is a beetle that I raised myself from the larval form to the beetle. And it's actually, this is the first species of beetle that I successfully raised myself in captivity. Now, some of you may know me as uh, Bart Coppens, the uh, sexy moth king. A title that I will gladly claim for myself, because I am one of the bigger um, moth breeders on YouTube. In fact, I would say that I am actually the biggest moth breeder on YouTube right now. And my brand, what I've become famous for, is my... Uh, basically my butterfly and moth videos, which is a specialism that you don't really see so often online. However, I have uh, been trying to think of bringing a better diversity of insects to this channel. Of course, my main passion is always going to be butterflies and moths. But uh, I have been getting into more groups of insects behind the scenes. And this is one of the first reveals that I can do. This is a Heudicella horny money. It's an African flower beetle. It's a beginner species. Uh, I start with beginner species because that's what I am. When it comes to beetles, I am a beginner. This is the first beetle I ever raised myself. So I'm proud of that. It's a, I think it's a female. I'm, I'm not even that sure I think it's a female. Because the males they should have this tiny horn. Now some of you are probably wondering what, what the heck is it sitting on? It looks like pudding. Well you're correct. This is something known as beetle jelly. And interesting is beetle jelly is like a candy with sugar that they make for beetles. But uh, I guess they, people have also, I've seen people feed this to reptiles, to crickets, to feeder animals. I guess anything that likes to eat uh, something sugary and uh, that gives them hydration is going to love this. Any fruit eating insects like snails I think they can eat these uh, these pudding cups, these fruit jelly cups as well. Well, one thing that we see here is that the iridescence of this insect is pretty cool. It's a very small species because uh, I, I actually want to be humble. I don't want to be one of those people who start getting into a new group of insects and immediately they order online the rarest species, the hardest to breed species. I think that would be a little bit arrogant. I really want to start with the very basics to become familiar with these insects. I also want to say that if you are one of the hardcore fans of my channel, uh, I understand some of you are going to be concerned because every time I try something new on this channel, there's always a few people who are upset about it. Why? Well, that's because uh, I guess I have a, when it comes to the butterflies and moths, I actually have a lot of uh, fans who come to my channel to enjoy watching butterfly and moth videos. So when I try to do something different, when I try to breed something unusual, people they are usually scared. They're like, oh no Bart, please don't stop breeding the butterflies and the moths, that's what I enjoy. Don't worry, I am the sexy moth king and I will forever be your sexy moth king. Butterflies and moths are my number one passion and specialism and I am not going to stop doing that ever but on this channel we are going to see in the future a bigger diversity of insects the thing uh, my problem is is that I'm a noob when it comes to anything that's not a butterfly or a moth like stick insects I'm a noob praying mantis I'm a noob beetles I'm a noob so uh, I'm really I am really a noob when with all of these things. Oops, let me put put her down for a second. Yeah, turns out she's hungry. Look at her eating the fruit uh, cup. 
it's pretty cool. So, um, one of the reasons I also want to do this is because the butterflies and moths, they only live for a very short time. I really enjoy breeding moths. But the thing is when you raise a moth, you know, like it's like months of work to raise a creature that only lives for like two weeks max. At best they will live for two weeks and that kind of sucks because I kind of want a pet that I can enjoy for a longer time. And the thing about beetles is, uh, well beetles they don't become super old but they de definitely become older than butterflies and moths. I'm not sure even how old this beetle uh, can become if I take care of it really well. But I think they can live for like two to six months. I've reached really big beetles, like the very big, um, what is its name? The Hercules beetle can live up to a year if you are really lucky. So last but least, if you have tips uh, about beetles for me, please write it in the comments. Like I said, I'm completely new to this. This is the first one I ever raised from a larva to a beetle. So I'm kind of being a proud daddy moment here. And um, it's pretty cool, like the colors on these creatures are like highly interesting. See that? And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, there's probably going to be a little bit more beetle related stuff. Maybe other insects too on my channel. Just wanted to say all of this stuff while showing you off the newest thing that I raised. Because this thing is so shiny. Look at that iridescence. It's so pretty, isn't it? Wow. Well, this was just a short announcement and me showing off a nice beetle. See you guys later. Bye bye.